Oxford Dictionary defines the word oral, spelled as A-U-R-N-L, as an adjective that is related to hearing and listening. Oral skills, also known as ear training, is explained in Wikipedia as a skill in which musicians learn to identify solely in hearing pitches, intervals, melody, chords, and rhythm, and other basic elements in music. So what is the main purpose of oral skills? Well, Western Michigan University, they gave us four reasons as to why we need to develop oral skills as musicians. First, is for us to be able to understand what we hear. Second, is for us to be able to hear what we see. This is related to our inner ear. Third, is for us to be able to reconcile sight and sound. And last, is for us to be able to play what we want. So today in this video, we're going to use the ABRSM Oral Trainer app. And this is an interactive app that develops your oral skill and make oral practice more engaging. ABRSM, or the Association Board of the Royal School of Music, is the United Kingdom's largest music education body and the world's leading provider of music exams. In total, they have eight levels from grades 1 to 8 in their music curriculum. And the Oral Trainer app supplements the practice for tests given at each level. And if you're an Apple user like me, you are in luck because today we are going to take a look at two of tests covered from the Oral Trainer app for grade 6. But before we do that, I want to quickly show you the syllabus for grade 6 theory so that we understand the required skills students need to finish this level. Students should be able to compose, to put chord accompaniments to melodies, and answer questions regarding the elements of music and its quotation. It's very challenging, isn't it? So let's get started! What you just saw is the oral trainer for grades 1 to 5, and now I will show you how the app looks like for grades 6 to 8. This is a light version, so we only have access for grades 6 to 7 and the cadence trainer. The app has a user-friendly interface, so you just need to choose grade 6 and the following menu will appear. So first, let's see the practice test for melodic repetition. You have to sing or play from memory the upper part of the two-part phrase, played twice. You'll be given the key chord, starting note, and a two-bar count in before you hear the first playing. The melody will be played in the right hand, in effect a tune with a simple accompaniment. You may sing any sound, such as lala or dada, or you could hum or whistle if you prefer. You also have the choice of playing the melody on your instrument. You just need to start your response once the microphone symbol appears. You'll be given tools to reflect on and rate your attempt at the end. This exercise is great for developing the ears and listening to a melody while it is being accompanied. Here is a video of this practice test.
So let us go back to the grade 6 menu and choose sight singing. Here you have to choose between the G clef and the bass clef. And then you have to sing the melody from the score while the accompaniment is played. You'll be given the key chord, starting note, and speed first, followed by a few moments to look at the melody and try it out loud. Just have to listen to the count in so that you begin in time with the accompaniment. And also, you will be given tools to rate your attempt at the end. Here is a video of this practice test. La re la fa sol la si la sol fa mi. So that is the two practice tests from ABRSM Oral Trainer app. For Android users out there, you don't have to worry because there is another app that you can use. I will show you the practice test for cadence and feature using the oral book app. Learning about cadences will help in determining what to use for the musical composition requirements in this grade level. And also, the feature menu will help you in learning texture, form, or dynamics that you can also use in making your own compositions. Here are the practice tests for cadence and the feature menu. Tell me what cadence is at the end of this piece of music. Here is the key chord. Okay, again. Is the cadence very good the answer is correct listen to this piece then I will ask you about texture and about loud or quiet playing
many types of textures are used in this piece of music. Please describe the texture used in the first half of this piece of music. Why do you think the texture used in the first half of this piece of music is homophonic? Please describe the texture used in the second half of this piece of music. Why do you think the texture used in the second half of this piece of music is homophonic? Did the dynamic change happen suddenly or gradually? Where was the quietest part of this piece? For the question about texture, quite good. The selected texture and reason for the first half of this piece of music is correct. However, there is only one kind of texture used in this piece of music. Therefore, the texture used in the first half is the same as the one used in the second half of this piece of music. For the question about volume change, quite good. One of the answers are correct. The dynamic change happened suddenly and the quietest part of this piece was at the middle. Please press the screen once to listen again and see whether you can get the correct answer. There you have it! So now go and get your devices and download these two apps to start practicing for your oral test and develop your skills.